Welcome to Icon Manager's Virtual View Demonstration, Automation and Reporting for VMware, Citrix Zen Server, and Windows Server Hyper-V. Icon Manager's Virtual View has the capability to manage both storage and virtual operating system environments. Virtual View interfaces directly with VMware's vSphere product, Windows Server Hyper-V, and Citrix Zen Server. Today's demonstration will focus on VMware's vSphere environment. This section will show creating a VM volume using VMDK. Now, to manage storage for this VM, I can simply right click on it or I can go to the Actions pane on the right hand side and I can say Create VM Volume. This will bring up the Create VM Volume wizard. I'm going to give the volume a name. This is the name that it will be formatted with in Windows as well as the name of the VMDK or the RDM that gets created inside the VMware environment. In this case, we're just going to keep it simple and make it 5 gigs in size. Because we're using VDS, I can also select any available drive letter from within the Windows environment for this particular VM. In this case, we'll select drive O. The allocation unit size is the NTFS block size that I want it formatted with. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as default, but you can see that we have all the standard NTFS uh, default settings in the drop-down. By selecting Advanced, this is where I can determine whether it's going to be a VMDK or a raw device map. A VMDK is a file that sits on a VMFS data store in the VMware environment, and a raw device map is a physical run on the SAN that's presented to a virtual machine. In this case, we're going to start with a VMDK. I select Next, and now I can pick where I want to store that VMDK. A VMDK needs to be stored on a data store. That data store can be, in this case, local internal storage, which is what storage one is, or it can be a volume on the SAN, which if I do go to the drop down here, I can see that I have two additional data stores that are shared template and shared VM one. Or if I need to create a new data store, I can simply create on the click on the create data store button, and I can start the process of creating a brand new data store for this particular virtual machine. In this case, I'm going to select Shared VM1, which I can see here has 153.19 gigs of free space. Or, if I don't really want to have to decide where I want to store this, I can simply select the store with the virtual machine, and it's automatically going to store it on the exact same data store that the virtual machine already exists on. Selecting the Advanced button here allows me to set some VMware-specific environment variables. I can select the virtual device node, which is essentially the SCSI ID that the, ver that the VMDK is going to be seen to the VM. In this case, we'll pick SCSI ID 5. Then I can pick its independent mode. The independent mode is something that's used when testing when you want to select non-persistent. You can see here that we give the hint that basically any changes that are made to the disk or the volume are discarded when you power off the virtual machine or you revert from a snapshot. In most cases, you're going to want to create these as persistent so that you don't lose any data. I'm going to select Next. I'm going to get a summary of everything that it's going to go and do. And when I select Finish, it's actually going to go off and do the work. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to create the VMDK on the data store. It's then going to map that VMDK to the, vir to the virtual machine. And then, because it's using a Windows operating system for this particular virtual machine, we're actually going to go through Microsoft's VDS and we're going to initialize, partition, and format the volume and present it directly to the operating system ready to use. And once the system gets the update from the Windows VM, we will get all the same information that we see for hard disk one for hard disk two. We will get the drive letter that's associated with it. We will get the name as well as the amount of used space. And you can see here that it's already updated. It's drive O and it has a name of Acme.